Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Yep. All right. Now let's see how it works. Yep. Looking a little better. Say it with me, kids. Cyanoacrylates or super glue. Yeah, I ended up having to use some glue after all. I didn't want to, um, but it looks good. I got it up here, and it's in more or less one piece. Looks like an ASIC. Kind of is, but kind of not. Uh, ASIC really only serves one purpose. These can serve multiple purposes. Anyway, um, yeah, it's. Uh, Got it up here. I do plan on putting in a uh, rack mounted appliance shelf to put this on. Um, I was thinking about printing some ears for it, but uh, yeah, it's more trouble than I think it'd be worth anyway. So this thing is together and up. Uh, put in a new patch panel and the bulk of that will be dedicated to this. I also put in a new switch, and the bulk of that will be dedicated to this. Um, you can look at my atrocious wiring here. Um, I will definitely be cleaning this up because I want to be able to access this. But you can see all my wires, all of my uh, cables. You can't really see where they're punched down at, but it doesn't matter. They're punched down the back of that panel, and they're all numbered. And they are plugged into the devices. And then I have power. Those are my power cables. And this is my power <laughs> monster power brick. Yeah, you gotta get up close and personal. Okay. That is my monster power brick. So, these are six port USB chargers, they're anchor, and I went five each, and they actually come with an adhesive strip that I use to kind of stick them together. So, the end of this, this is the end of this video, it's kind of jumbled up like everything else, but, um, Maybe in another video you'll see all this powered up and we will see if we can get these things mining finally. I'm kind of happy with what I have so far, so we'll see what happens. Bye.